Hey guys, Rookie Lock here, back once again. I hope everyone's having a great day as always. And um, today I think I'm going to pick this Sergeant. Um, not to be confused with the Sergeant Signature Series that I just got from Chris. Uh, this will be in an upcoming video for sure, maybe a couple videos away. Um, depending on what comes up. But uh, yeah, I thought it would be cool just to pick a, a regular stock Sergeant. Um, Kind of just uh, for fun and in preparations for for this bad boy here. Um, you can tell by the the feather that it's a signature series, something special. But regular sergeants are um, pretty special too. They have really good tolerances. Actually, uh, it's kind of what they're known for. But I think they have some of the best tolerances that you'll find in, in locks. Uh, and another thing that's pretty special to both of them, they have a pretty high max, max adjacent cut spec. Again, I think one of the higher ones, or if not the highest, I'm not quite sure. But uh, you'll always find sergeants with crazy ass biddings because of that. So when you see a sergeant, you can almost uh, expect that it's going to have pretty crazy bidding. So usually you see a sergeant and you need a deep hook. <laughs> Actually, stand by. These are just some sergeant keys that I have here. And uh, not one of them has a tame bidding. Actually, I think the... This is... No. This is probably the tamest you'll see on a sergeant. You know what I mean? And uh, this is in within max believe it or not. Everyone's seen Bill Bacardi biddings and maybe sometimes they're within max but uh, probably not always. This is within maximum adjacent cut spec. Might not be cut with the right wheel because of these <laughs> points. It's kind of <laughs> like a saw but it's still um, within max uh, maximum adjacent cut spec which is pretty crazy. They have a uh, high max so a lot of combinations. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, this, uh, this sergeant I have here. Works great, and it's stock, and uh, let's see if I can get into it. Like I said, mo mostly for fun, but uh, in preparation for that, that signature I have, signature series. And uh, while I pick this, I'll ramble a bit more. Um, so yeah, Sergeant, to me, is uh, kind of a special lock. Again, because of its uh, good tolerances. But uh, this is one of the names that I uh, I remember from when I was a kid. Kind of uh, <clears throat> everyone has that childhood lock that they remember. Maybe it was what got, got them interested in lock picking. And that, for me, would definitely be Sergeant. I think Jeff Moss has a similar story. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of why I, I like Sergeant and trying to... Uh, I'm trying to collect as many Sergeants as I can. I'd love to have Sergeant Padlock. I'd love to have the Sergeant Kiso. Um, Sergeant XC. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. But mainly the Kiso and the Padlock, I would just love to have one of these days. Yeah, these are really great practice locks, training practice locks. Um, yeah, like I said, good tolerances, so you really have to pay attention to what you're doing and feel... Great to learn bind, binding order. Really have to pay attention and like I said, most cases you need to ooh, most cases you need a pretty deep hook.
there we go. I was wondering what was holding us up there. Um, so yeah, great lock. If, uh, if you want to get the feel for, for picking, the sergeants are a great lock to go with. Like I said, for binding order, really everything. And, uh, A lot of guys say uh, sometimes security pins are, are make things easier. This is a great example of how standards can be tough. If you put security pins on this thing, um, yeah, I think it'll make it quite a bit easier. It might be kind of like if you put spools in, it might be a bit of spool ping pong because of the, the good tolerances. You might drop pins, but uh, yeah. I think this is a lock that is better to have standards, in my opinion. And that's what we're going to find in here, standards and probably balanced pin stacks. And one thing I want to check out first is if I really did, did need a deep hook to pick this. I'm curious if, uh, if a short hook would, uh, would be able to pick this. Oh, sorry about the focus. So let's check it out. So obviously be able to get um, six, five. So I think the only one we wouldn't be able to get is four. Yep. So, I mean, depending on binding order, I probably needed a deep, deep hook to pick this. Okay, let's get this down a bit more. Hope my uh, hope you can't hear the noise my cat's making. Scratching on something. I actually think he might be in the litter box. Oh, I'm doing this through the camera lens, or through the viewfinder, and it's uh, really dark. I hope the video doesn't turn up that way. So yeah, really nice, uh, really nice round plug, and little little wear, but nice sharp edges. Um, yeah. Really good tolerances on these things. Really nice locks. Sergeant makes some pretty cool stuff. Actually, only learning, well, a little while ago, that uh, Sergeant makes uh, basically a Medico. They call it the Sergeant, uh, what's it called? Sergeant Degree System. And they have three degrees. And, uh,. It's basically like the bi-level, bi-axial, 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 and um, the M3, from my understanding. But the ones I'm most interested in is the Kiso, and uh, some some of those padlocks are, are really beautiful. Talk about uh, an expensive lock for what you get, too, like... There's so many uh, locks out there that you get way more bang for your buck than uh, like uh, those Schlag padlocks are really expensive for what you get, and these Sergeant padlocks, I guess, are pretty expensive for for what you're getting. So let's so yeah, pin stacks are pretty well balanced. Um, and that's that's what they they call out for, or at least lab does anyway. So you have some long pins there. Um, all standards, obviously. But uh, like I said, that uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy pick. Um, sometimes locks with higher tolerances with standard pins are way harder to pick than uh, um, the same lock with spools or, or, or a lock that 
doesn't have high tolerances and security pins. So yeah, great lock for uh, for practice and maybe not for a beginner, but I mean the wide open keyway is is uh, pretty good for a beginner. It's just the binding order thing and, and the high tolerances. Great practice lock. Anyways, guys, um, not sure when, but this will be coming up. And a uh, little spoiler alert, it's a friggin' tough lock. <laughs> it's uh, I'll, I'll talk about it when I do it, but it's, it's different. Um, again, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I really appreciate your guys' support. Um, I wouldn't be able to keep doing this without without support from you guys, and uh, that's greatly appreciated. So, yeah, as always, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.